really, 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 really hope this works. I feel like every single time I start a live stream, that's how it starts. Like, I really, really, really hope this works. <laughs> oh. Let's see if it works. Let me type, type in the chat. Okay. Is it working? Is it working? Maybe we're, we're going a little bit more advanced than uh, I have in the past. Just a little bit. See, we have this view. And then there's this view where you get to see me twice, apparently, because that's a thing. And you get to see all the dogs. So you get to see all the dogs, but you get to see me twice. So is it working? Can you hear me? Are we good to go? Everybody's saying hello. Yes, it works. We are good to go. What is up, everybody? This is weird. Normally, I have to look over there and see that camera. But today, I decided to try something a little bit different and also use this camera so you guys could actually see me as well a little bit better so i don't know you're gonna have to tell me if you like this better or not um if you are new to this channel welcome my name is jess this is memphis this is shelby that is oakley oh you want to play i want to play uh we're gone to the snow dogs and today is basically our live stream q a what we do here is we answer questions from you guys down in the comments you can leave a question if you do a super chat, all super chat questions are answered first. So like if you choose to do a super chat to support the channel, those questions will get answered before the other questions. We try to answer as many questions as we can, but as always, if you can't currently see the chat, um, which was the other thing I wanted to add to the stream but didn't end up doing today, the chat goes really fast, so I do tend to miss questions. So you can always try to ask again. Uh, yeah, I think those are the only things i think the only show me i think the only real announcement that we <laughs> had for today was uh let's put this way at the dogs uh, yeah i think the only real announcement we had for today was we now have our own amazon storefront so if you guys haven't seen that yet it's kind of cool we've been adding like lots of products that we actually use for the dogs down in the video description below underneath where it says support our channel there is a link to our amazon shop and it is an affiliate link. So if you purchase anything through there, it doesn't cost you anymore, but it does help us out a little bit. And it's, I'm still adding a lot of things to it. It's still very new. Eventually I'm gonna be able to break things down into categories and stuff. So we'll be able to put more like slow feed bowls and food and treats and toys. And hopefully eventually it'll be something really cool that we can build. So it'll be kind of like a storefront where you, if you guys wanna buy stuff that we use, that's a place where you can do it. Now, before we even get any further, I'm going to answer the question that everybody asks over and over and over in the live stream. No, I haven't finished my FAQ video yet. That wasn't the question. The question is, how old are all the dogs? Memphis is the gray and white dog that you see right there, and she is four years old. Oakley is the black and white dog that you see right there, and she is about 13 years old. And then Shelby, who is laying right here, Shelby is nine years old, but she will actually be turning 10 in less than a month. This girl right here will be turning 10 years old in less than a month. Um, she is going to have a birthday video just like we've done in the past for all the other dogs. So if you want to send her uh, a card, a letter, a drawing, a package or something to go into Shelby's birthday video, our P.O. box is always listed in the video description down below. It's uh, gone to the Snow Dogs P.O. Box 12, Alpena, Michigan 49707. If you want to send her something, that's where you can do that. I think I have all of the announcement things done. Oh, and for anybody asking where Jamie is, he's probably down in the comments somewhere because he helps me moderate the chat a lot of the times when we do this. Did I do all that right? Did I say it right? I don't have a spirit hood on because it's hot. Normally when I do these, I have my spirit hood on. I feel a little strange, but it's it's been hot, so I don't I don't have it on. Dun, dun, dun. Somebody said, I wish Super Chat was free for Q&A. If you weren't paying attention, you can still ask questions. You don't only get your question answered by doing a Super Chat. If you choose to do a super chat, those questions get answered first. How long have you been YouTube? How long have you been YouTubing? Freddy Fazbear says, um, "This channel we've been doing, we've been active on this channel since November 29th of 2009. But my first YouTube channel I started in 2006, like way back when YouTube first started." But I, the things I uploaded there were just basically videos to share with friends and things like that. So it wasn't really like a channel channel. And then the vlogging channel we've been doing since 2011. 
Um, so a long time. <laughs> Definitely a long time. Um, dun, 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 dun. Wheelie Girl, thank you for the super chat, says, Do you ever think of what Oakley might have been like as a puppy or as a young adult? What do you think she would be like? Um, We have kind of thought about that in the past, like what Oakley would actually be like as a puppy. Whoops, I'm turning this the wrong way. Um, I think she would have been, definitely been a very fluffy, there, a very fluffy puppy. I don't know. She might have been kind of a crazy dog, but she's not much of a crazy dog now. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say, like, what type of dog she would have been. Especially because her personality is so molded based on the fact that she's been through much, through so much in her life. It's hard to say. I don't know. I do, I do wish we had pictures of her as a puppy and wish we knew more about her if she had, you know, if we'd had her as a puppy. Oh, another thing that I was going to tell you guys, if you didn't see it, over at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs, which for those of you that may not know, that is our vlogging channel. We put up a video today where we talked about Miss Shelby down here getting her stitches out. If you can see, she got her stitches out. And then we got home from the vet, vet with Shelby after she got her stitches out. And we, had, we ended up having to take Oakley to the vet because Oakley has a sore under her eye that was red. And Jamie and I have been putting medicine on it. And we've been, you know, doing all, it's not like we haven't had dogs for a long time, doing all the things you're supposed to do. But it was still really wet red and her eye was leaking, so it kept staying wet. And I was afraid she was going to have like a fungal infection or a bacterial infection or some type of infection on it. So long story short, we took Oakley to the vet yesterday as well. And it ended up, um, her tear duct is clogged, basically. So she's on some medicine for that. But if you want to know more about, more about that, you can go check that out over there. Dun, dun, dun. Did you and Jamie go to college? Yes, we both went to college. I have an associate's degree in business. That's as far as I went. <laughs> uh, there's my Shelby. Hi, Shelby. Do you know why Shelby's pupils are different sizes? Shelby's pupils aren't different sizes. Shelby, will you look at the camera and show them your pupils aren't different sizes? Can we get you this here? See? They're not. They're not different sizes. They're, they're the same size. <laughs> Shelby's like, what are you doing? Uh. So no, Shelby's pupils are not different sizes. Do Did you rescue any of the dogs? Oakley, the black and white one, is our rescue. Did we find a place for the Shiloh Rock? Not yet. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I thought about putting it out here by the fireplace, but I'm not really sure yet. How do you do super chat? There's a little dollar sign down at the bottom. I forgot to put that link. I usually put that link in the video description so you guys know how to do that. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Have you... If, uh, stop going. Stop going so fast. All right. I got to click this and make it so I can read some of these. If you were to get another husky puppy, what gender would you get? I don't know. It depends on how it works out. Has your dog toilet papered your house before, and how did you stop it? This one. This one right here. It was even on the episode of Bad Dog. This one right here. You tore it up all the toilet paper. Um, we just shut the bathroom door so she couldn't get in there. <laughs> she did it when she was much younger, when she was a puppy. How do your, Lily the puppy says, how do you, how do your dogs react to dogs they don't know? They're usually pretty good. The only one we, that's really ever iffy is, again, Shelby. <laughs> um, sometimes with small dogs, she's very, she can be very standoffish, but most of the time they do really good with other dogs for the most part. Shelby is awake. Yes. Wow. It's already getting warm in here and I just shut the air off. Curly Productions. Any chance I'm visiting Tecumseh, Michigan? I just want to hear you pronounce it again. Hey, I said it right this time, though, right? Tecumseh. Tecumseh, Michigan. Um, actually, speaking about that, we are hopefully going to be looking at a uh, motorhome pretty soon here. Is this? Did it freeze up? There we go. Um, there's a motorhome available for sale in our town not far from where we're at that we actually we went and looked at yesterday so i'm hoping 
I don't know if I'm going to go back today, but I want to go look at it again and see. So if we get a motorhome, hopefully we'll be able to do a lot more traveling. Uh, Lucky the Shepsky says, I'm an up-and-coming YouTuber, and I love you guys. Oh, thank you. All oh, the dogs look so tired. <laughs> They're like, we're so tired. Um, who is the best lead dog in sledding? Okay, so it used to be Shelby. When we had Shelby, Shiloh, and Oakley, so before Shiloh passed away, before we got Memphis, we had Shelby, Shiloh, and Oakley. Shelby used to be the best when it came to being a lead dog, but when we got Memphis, Shelby just decided that she didn't want to be in front anymore. Shelby likes running next to somebody, um, and she pretty much had always run next to Shiloh, So, and then she ran next to Oakley, but she was the dog that when you would tell him which way to go, Shelby was the one that knew. The first time I hooked them up on a sled with Memphis, Memphis was eight months old. Shelby absolutely refused to go. She, cause she was single. She was a single lead and I had Memphis and Oakley next to each other. So I switched them out and pretty much now it's Memphis. Memphis pretty much does all the lead dog stuff and Shelby is now a wheel dog. But it's nice cause she knows all the commands really well. So when Memphis turns, when I say har, gee, they both know which way they're going. Jillian Strass, thank you for the super chat, says, how much exercise do the dogs get? And do you think it's doable to own a husky when you do not have a backyard for it? Uh, thank you once again for the super chat. I do think it's possible to have a husky and not have a backyard. But you have to understand that you are going to have to do a lot of exercise with your dogs, which can be biking. Biking is probably the best. If you don't have a backyard and you're able to bike with your dogs, it's probably one of the best ways to do it because you can go a long distance you can go for a long distance you can get a lot of exercise in in a short amount of time so if you don't have a ton of time to actually do those things you can wear the dog out in a shorter amount of time hiking um, agility anything like that can help uh, get get them exercise but if you live in an apartment you're just gonna have or you live in a small space that doesn't have a backyard you're just gonna have to understand that you're going to have to take your dogs out possibly every day and do something we are fortunate enough to not only have more than one dog, we have a big backyard, so we can go out there, we can play with them, they can run around together. They get a lot of exercise in the backyard, but we also do take them for walks and we take them for RIDEs. And notice I didn't spell walk, nobody reacted to that one. <laughs> um, but yes, I do think it's possible. Blaze Repeat, thank you for the super chat, says, you liked my tweet once and it made my day. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> I try to go through and read all of the tweets that you guys send us. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if we can see what they're looking at. I think they're just looking out the window, though. Is Memphis's nose healed? Yes. Yeah, her her nose is actually healed. It's looking a lot better. Much better than it was. Um, how do the dogs react to laser pointers? Shelby used to chase a laser pointer like crazy. Now, not so much. Memphis absolutely loves a laser pointer. It's one of her favorite things. <laughs> uh, are you going to come to Toronto? So, Bufferfest is in Toronto, and we kind of talked about going to Toronto for Bufferfest, but I think it falls the same week as Vid Summit, and I'm going to Vid Summit, so I don't think we'll be coming to Bufferfest in Toronto. I still have to look, because they might have moved it to November. Again, Kind of has to do with that whole motorhome thing. It's hard. It's getting harder for us to travel those further distances as the dogs get a little bit older. We're looking for a solution to that. We're hoping that a motorhome could possibly be the solution. And, you know, while I'm talking about it, I'm going to throw it out there. Down in the video description below, there's a link to our Patreon page. And one of our goals for Patreon was buying a motorhome once we hit a certain amount on Patreon. So if you guys want to go down there and maybe support that, you can. If not, that's cool, too. Just keep watching the videos and sharing them, and that helps just as much. Uh, somebody said, I want to hear this story about when Memphis turned off the Xbox. Our Xbox is right in there, our Xbox 360, and because it's a glass door, we... What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. How's it going? Oh, you're super cute. <laughs> um, because... It has a glass door. We actually uh, open it when we use the Xbox so it doesn't overheat. And uh, she just touched it with her nose. It's got that little touch button thing on it. She just touched it with her nose and was able to shut it off. Whoa, Memphis. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. What is your next dog treat video? So you guys at the live show get to hear this first. I believe 
Monday. A lot of you guys have asked for this, and I believe we're going to do it on Monday. We're going to do DIY slime for dogs because a lot of you, for some reason, want us to do it. I'm pretty sure I got it figured out to where it's slime that they can actually eat. So it's going to be interesting, but possibly Monday we're going to do that. If it doesn't work out, it'll be something completely different. Uh, can you come to Utah? I was hoping to come to CVX Live in Utah and bring the dogs, but it's not going to work out this year. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it for next year. Hopefully. Sushi is another dog treat that is on the list of dog treats we want to make. I wanted to make emoji cookies, too, before the emoji cookie, before the emoji movie comes out, but that's going to be pushing it. We'll find out if we'll be able to do that. <laughs> uh. Are all huskies the same, and are all of them really active? All Huskies are not the same, and all of them are not always super active. Shiloh was not a very active Husky at all. She could just pretty much chill. Like, she just wanted to sit with you and could care less about running and all that stuff. She was a very chill Husky. But some of them are super active, and then some of them just aren't. Oh, look, Shelby in her, her favorite pose. <laughs> uh. Tips on having more than one Husky. Uh, lots of patience. That's my biggest tip. Lots of patience. Understand that it is harder to have more than one dog. You're going to have to, every time you want to take them somewhere, now you've got to take two, twice the vet bills, twice the food, twice the cleanup, twice the fur. You could actually probably quadruple the fur with two huskies over one. <laughs> uh, um, but my biggest tips is just remember that, you know, they can't read your mind and they don't come automatically trained. So just have patience laugh at things in life because it's totally more it's worth it to laugh instead of be upset about things it really really is Let's see if we can get oakley over here hey oakley what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> uh, get another dog eventually we'll get another dog we have done dog cupcakes before somebody just asked that down in the chat if we can do cupcakes we've done cupcakes before Yes, we still go biking with our dogs when it's not ridiculously humid outside. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What kind of phone do I have? I don't even know where it is. I don't know where my phone is. I have a droid something. Droid turbo. But I don't know where it is. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Please do frozen honey treats. That would be interesting. You want them to sing. Oh, look at Shelby. Look at, look at, look at Shelby, are you looking out the window? I got the window open because it's a little bit cooler outside than it is inside, even though it's still ridiculously humid. Shelby, 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 Shelby. You want to sing? Shelby, do you want to sing? She's like, I am watching the birds, guys. I'm watching the birds. Have you been to Washington before? I've been to Washington, D.C. I've never been to Washington State. I hear you, Memphis. Can you do DIY dog toys? I've never really done DIY dog toys. It's not something we really do, but, I mean, I'm sure we could probably try it eventually. Dun, 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 dun. Sing? Everybody wants you to sing? Can you sing? Maybe she needs her note. Let's find out. She needs her note. Wrong note. This note. Sing. Sing. Is that, was that a good song? Oh, <laughs> uh, was, that, was that a good song? That was the best song ever. Uh, there you go. 
Hey, Shirley. Super chat in honor of Lily the puppy who asks, what are your dog's favorite birthday toys? Um, Memphis's favorite birthday toy is that singing birthday cake. I got her from Amazon. She actually has two of those now. Uh, Oakley's, of course, is anything um, raccoon. And Shelby really likes squeaky tennis balls, although she hasn't been playing with them too much lately. But I think that's because she's kind of running low on them. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Is that what's going on? That's what's going on. Yeah? 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 We're gonna wrestle? Look, you can actually wrestle because you don't have stitches anymore! Yay! You can wrestle because you don't have stitches anymore! Just like, yeah. <laughs> They sound, they sound so vicious. They really sound ten times worse than they actually are. I was at the vet's office with Shelby the other day, and Shelby was talking like that to another dog, and this lady's like, she's so mean. I'm like, no, she's just talking. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah? What? Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Hey, can we do the live show? Can we do the live show? Who's here? Go see. There's, there's nobody. There's, there's nobody here yet. Greg's coming over in a little bit, but he's not actually here yet. <laughs> uh, Husky Wrangling. What program do you use to edit? I use Corel. A car just went by and then backed up backwards in front of our house. I use Corel Video Studio X9. What kind of camera do I use? I don't have it sitting here. I use the Canon G7X Mark II and the Canon G3X and the GoPro Hero 5. The posters are coming. Yes. If you ordered a signed and photographed poster, they start shipping either today or the beginning of next week. What did that one say? I saw that. There was a little super chat. What did it say? Super chat from TCE. Happy 14th of July from France. Well, thanks. Thanks for the super chat as well. Why did you originally get huskies and not any other dogs? It's pretty much just how it turned out. I mean, we've kind of talked about the long version of the story in the past, but it's kind of just how it turned out. Will you ever visit Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada? Also, Tim Hortons for the win. We have a Tim Hortons. It's 75 miles away from us. I would like to come to Canada. Yes, I really would. Uh... How much money have you spent on the dogs? Probably too much. What does this one say? Whoa, let's slow down. Rusty Moo 93, thank you for the super chat, says, I got my baby husky a week ago. I know you got Memphis spayed when she was young. What age do you recommend? Uh, that, I've talked about this in the past. This is something you should definitely talk to your vet about. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, there are a lot of differing opinions on when you should get a dog spayed, whether it has to do with like age or weight or whatnot. So it is definitely something that I would talk to your vet about. I can't, I can't hold the camera and do all the things at the same time. There. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're all crazy. Everyone here. You're all crazy. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? Shelby, 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 would you stop starting it? <laughs> Shelby, who's here? Are you going to fall for that every time? Uh, anyway, the age and stuff of getting your dog spayed, talk to your vet about it. Mem I don't even remember how old Memphis was done, how old she was when she did it. She had to be a certain age and a certain weight. Shelby, for real, who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Go see. Who's here? Go see. Go see. Go see. Go see. <laughs> Apparently that works to make him stop being crazy for five seconds. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you crazy puppies. Uh, 
bacon treats, bacon treats for the dogs. How's Shelby doing? Can you tell? Can you, how is Shelby doing? How did she look like she's doing? She's great. She got her stitches out and she's allowed to play. So she's going crazy. She's absolutely going crazy. Um, hold on. Do me a favor, guys. Don't put your phone numbers and addresses in the comments. I know we've kind of talked about this a little bit before, but just, just don't do that. It's not, you shouldn't do that. Don't put your phone numbers and addresses in the comments of any videos, including mine and other people's. Your parents should be teaching you that. <laughs> uh, Shelby, calm down, right? Shelby, calm down. Shelby's crazy. She's crazy. Um, bum, bum, bum. Ouch. Uh, have you been to Oregon? Nope. Crazy. Do yep, Shelby just went to go get water. Shelby's birthday is August the 8th, so her birthday is actually coming up pretty soon here. Would you ever do a video with the dogs trying treats from other countries? That could be interesting. That could definitely make for an interesting video. You girls, you gotta stay in one camera shot or the other. <laughs> They're like, oh, wait, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's all stand over here. Are you all over there? What's going on? Oh, you're gonna lay down? Okay. Oh, there she's gonna lay down. <laughs> uh, taco dip? That sounds good. Spaghetti for dogs? Man, dogs aren't supposed to eat a lot of tomatoes. Steph has her toy. <laughs> uh, Dishan Saram, where did you buy your huskies and how much did they cost? Um, this isn't something that we talk about a whole lot on the channel, about what we paid for the dogs and where we got them from, for two reasons. I used to say where we got the dogs from all the time, and then I found out that a lot of you guys were actually contacting the places we got the dogs from. And uh, they're not a sell puppies to everybody breeder. <laughs> so we don't usually say that much anymore about where we got them and how much we paid for them and things like that. What are you doing, Shelby? Oh, look, we get up close Oakley. Check it out. There she is. The Whoa, I almost dropped the camera. Up close Oakley. <laughs> uh. Dun, 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 na, 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 na. Tacos for dogs. I, that would be kind of cute. There we go. Why can't you get a cat? Because the dogs would eat it. That blows my mind that you guys ask that question all the time. Seriously. The dogs would eat it. <laughs> if you get another dog, will it be a puppy or an older dog? Again, I don't know. Depends. If we find a dog to rescue, we might get an older dog. If we find a puppy, we might get a puppy. Memphis is playing with her toy. Let's see if I can get her on this camera. Here. See, so fast. She goes from camera to camera. What do you got, Memphis? What do you have? Oh, you made it squeak. Oh my goodness. You made you did that? You made it squeak. You did it. Uh what is the biggest mess the girls have ever made? Um I don't know like that I guess not really big messes, just things they've tore up. Shelby ate a rug, she ate a chair, she ate a couch, Shiloh ate a comforter, uh those types of things. Toilet paper, paper towel, paper, mail. Memphis 8 uh, video game. Destroyed it all over the place. <laughs> um. uh, da, da, da. Do you sell dog t-shirts? Yep, there's links to our Spreadshirt shop down in the video description below. They're actually in the video description of every single video. Um, and we actually have some new designs coming out. In, we're starting a new shop through Teespring instead of Spreadshirt because I'm having issues with Spreadshirt. So uh, we have some new designs coming out soon. What color pattern is Shelby? Shelby is a sable and white husky. What will that be? What? I missed it. Uh, there are, is it safe to own a husky in Florida? There are a lot of people that own huskies in Florida. You just have to remember that. Huskies get hot just like we get hot. So you want to make sure you have air conditioning and that you have all the proper things to keep the dog cool. Hot cocoa for dogs. If we do hot cocoa for dogs, it won't be until wintertime. Has Oakley ever destroyed anything in the house? Not really anything besides paper. She's pretty much just, she likes to chew on paper. 
Do you use Chewy.com? Yes. Uh, 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 uh. No new designs. My wallet can't decide. These designs won't. The new designs that we're doing are not going to be limited edition designs. They'll be designs that will stay up in the store for a long period of time. Wait, I missed it. Uh... Making anything good for dinner and any big camping trips coming up. We're making tater tot casserole for dinner today. And we have a wedding this weekend. We have a, a bachelorette and bachelor party. A wedding party, I guess it would be. Not the wedding. Uh, next weekend. And then we have another wedding the weekend after that. And then I think we can start going camping again. I think we'll have some weekends where we can actually do stuff. Did you ever try the drinkable what? Drinkable Cadbury's. No, I've never tried the drinkable Cadbury's. How about brownies for dogs? We've done tuna brownies for dogs, but I have a couple ideas for brownies for dogs. I'm no chef. Natasha says, what is the reason for Oakley's couch zoomies? Is it getting frustration out or just energy and why the couch? Um, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that Oakley doesn't know how to play. I don't think when, I think when she was little and when she was before we got her, when she was in her abuse situation, I don't think she was ever allowed to play and really ever learned how to play. Like, she'll chase other dogs, but she kind of gets into that mode where, like, she's not really sure what to do. And when she does play, you could tell she gets, like, really confused. Like, she's not sure what to do. And I think the couch is just kind of her way of she wants to play, and she doesn't really know how to initiate play with the other dog, so she just jumps on the couch like a crazy dog. <laughs> Uh, Shelby is nine. She will be turning ten in like a month, less than a month. Memphis just stole Oakley's spot. She did. You saw that, didn't you? <laughs> uh, do you bring your dogs everywhere? We try to bring our dogs everywhere we can, but we don't bring them everywhere. When Jamie and I went to VidCon, the dogs had to stay here. Well, I'm sorry. We try to bring you everywhere. I mean, it's not like we don't try. We can't cry about it. Since you have so many toys, do the dogs put them away themselves or do they leave them all over? Oh, we put them away. The dogs usually just leave them all over. <laughs> uh, yes, there is a Stay Positive Dream sh Dream Big shirt coming out soon. Soon. Does Memphis like the vet? Yeah, if you didn't see that video, there's a vid. If you actually look up on YouTube... Memphis loves the vet. Our vlog of Memphis going to the vet will pop up. Memphis loves the vet. Like, loves the vet. <laughs> uh. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Oops, this button. This button. This button. So many buttons. So many buttons. Dun, dun, dun. Aside from stealing the ingredients in the treat videos, has Memphis ever tried to eat something she wasn't allowed to or supposed to? Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. She likes to try to eat everything. <laughs> Pop-tarts for dogs. That's on my list as well. Do you have a dog treat shaped like cars? Zachary Loomis, thank you for the super chat. You love your videos. Thanks for sharing your lives and the dogs. Aw, thank you so much. Can't... What? Was Shelby always a diva? Yeah, pretty much. Is bloat only in a husky? Nope. If you watch our bloat video, we actually talk about that. And uh, we say that it's it, bloat can happen in any dog. Which dog is the easiest to deal with? Oh, that's a hard one. So... <sighs> Memphis is happy all the time but she's also super hyper so she's easy to deal with but then in situations like at the vet and stuff when you're trying to keep her to sit still it can be hard i think they all have their quirks of what makes them a little bit difficult to deal with in certain situations waffles for dogs that's also on my list of things to make yes they shed a lot how do you feel about PetSmart buying Chewy? I think it was the ideal situation for PetSmart. It sounds like the people at Chewy are still running Chewy. PetSmart just now owns the company. The only thing I don't like is there are some food companies that have now pulled out because, like, Origin pulled out 
Champion Pet Foods has pulled out of it because PetSmart bought it. And I think it has to do with, like, they don't like PetSmart and PetSmart's practices. So they're pulling out their food from Chewy, which is sad because it sounds like the people that currently run Chewy are still running it. PetSmart just now owns it. Um, between PetSmart and Petco, I I tend to like Petco more, but we've worked with Petco more. I mean, I don't know. I wish they wouldn't have, but it sounds like the, not a lot's going to change because of it. Hopefully not a lot's going to change because of it. And I mean, realistically, business-wise, it made sense for them to do that. Don't worry, I have a feeling it'll be Amazon that does it next. Amazon's just like, let's do all the things. My Furbo is actually unplugged right now. Because uh, it it draws from my Wi-Fi. Dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Don't yawn. All of you are going to yawn now. Why don't you do your intro anymore? Okay. <laughs> so, I got rid of intros on this channel, and I got rid of intros on all the channels and have gone to an overlay instead. Why did I do that? One, when I did it, almost nobody noticed. It was so crazy. I didn't get any comments for days on why is the intro gone. So, basically, nobody noticed. But YouTube is very fickle. Um, most of you guys know we do YouTube for a living. So when YouTube makes changes, we have to make changes and we have to do things in hopes that our videos still get seen. One of the things YouTube does is YouTube rewards watch time. So basically when you watch one of our videos, if you watch it from beginning to the end, all the way through, YouTube basically says, oh, hey, people are watching this video all the way through. That must mean it's a good video. Let's show it to more people. It rolls out to more subscription boxes. Yeah, just because you subscribe to us doesn't actually mean YouTube's going to show you our videos. They really like to not show you guys our videos, which is why if you haven't done so yet, you should click that little bell icon, icon down below and turn on all notifications, which still doesn't actually mean you're going to get all of our notifications because YouTube just doesn't like to work like it's supposed to. But anyway, um, thank you, Becky Hill, for the super chat. Anyway. Um, YouTube rewards watch time. So what was happening was the longtime audience members were skipping the intro and then new people were clicking away at the intro, probably because they didn't know that it was only like four seconds long. Anyway, so in my YouTube analytics where I can see what's going on in a video, our videos would start and they would have a sharp drop and then like a little bit of a pick back up which isn't a good thing. At the beginning of a video, you, you kind of want that bar to be, you want to know that people are actually watching the video. So based on a lot of YouTube gurus and a lot of people that I watch that do like video influencing and things like that, it seemed like it was a good idea to get rid of the intro, but keep the outro. As I actually went through and looked afterwards, there was a change. So that is why we got rid of our intros on this channel and the other channel. It is basically because YouTube kind of forced us to do it. I mean, there's really no other way to put it than that. Blame YouTube. But we kept the outro because we really don't want to get rid of that. But that's why we got rid of it. <sighs> How's Oakley's eye? Oakley has now had medicine being put in her eye for a couple days. And she's actually, she's doing pretty good. Never skipped the intro. I loved it. I know, Shirley. I had, I had... A few people that were really upset that we got rid of it. I might shorten it and bring it back, sort of. I might do something a little bit different with it. I haven't fully decided yet, but instead of, like, the intro being at the beginning, there would be, like, 20 seconds into the video, there would be a short intro. I haven't decided yet. It's a work in progress. It might come back. You never know. Might happen. Oakley's eye, yeah. Oakley's eye is actually doing real... It's doing a lot better. It's already leaking a lot less. She's not... It doesn't have so much moisture and stuff, which is what was causing that sore. So she has to have that put drops in her eye three times a day for 10 days total. So we're just working on that. Working on that. Right? What are you doing over here, Memphis? What are you, what are you doing over here? Hey, how you doing, Memphis? How are, how are you? Are you just chilling next to me, huh? You're like, I'm just chilling next to you. Yeah? Just chilling, huh? You're so cute. Uh, I know it's hot. We won't live stream for much longer. I'll turn the air conditioner back on, I swear. I was going to say, are you really going to jump down now that I made it so the camera could see your pretty face? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. 
Oh my goodness. Ice cream for dogs! We have done ice cream for dogs. That is something we've actually done before. <laughs> what are you girls doing? What are you doing? Are you over there? Yeah, I know. Can you tell me all about it? You're going to take... Okay. What was that? What, what's wrong with you, huh? Hi. Apparently... <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. No, Oakley's a girl. They're all girls. Cheesecake treat for dogs. That's a good idea, too. I'll have to write that one down. Pie or cake. We've done both. But we have plans to do more. I love your outro. I always sing it. Teddy Bear 1287 says, Have you tried barn hunt or any other sport, any sport other than agility with the dogs? Um, I have not done... We've, we do dog sledding. Um, I have not done barn hunt with the dogs. My dogs are not, they don't really seem, Memphis maybe. Memphis might enjoy barn hunt. I think Shelby would get completely bored with it, and I think Oakley, I don't think Oakley would do it. But that, that might be something we could try. Might be. Mm -hmm. uh, can I borrow your AC? It's hot here in California. <laughs> uh, advice on caring, on caring for a rescue dog? Patience. It's my biggest advice on everything. Just have patience. If you don't have patience, you shouldn't have a dog. <laughs> uh, what do I do when my dog starts destroying things? Exercise. Dogs usually become destructive and really want to tear things up because they need more stimulation. And that's in the form of exercise or uh, long-lasting treats, running them, playing with them. They need mental stimulation, so like learning toys and things like that. That's usually why dogs tear things up, because they're bored. So if you have a dog that's tearing something up, you might just want to try a little bit more exercise. Exercise! Who gets scared the easiest? Memphis. My favorite thing to do with Memphis is run around and hide. And I'll hide like behind the wall or behind the door. And when she comes out, I jump out at her and she freaks out. I should make a video on that because that is hilarious. That's so much fun. More agility videos. Not until fall. It's too hot and humid to run them around. Uh, it's warm in Canada. Mexican buffet for dogs. That'd be fun. <laughs> uh, do you have advice for hot spots on huskies? Um, definitely take your dog to the vet and uh, they can give you a nice cream for it. I know, I know, I know. What has been your favorite part or experience since becoming a YouTuber? You guys, no joke. My favorite thing about doing this is you guys, is the interaction with you guys, is talking to you guys, chatting with you guys, talking to you guys on Twitter, uh, the drawings and stuff you guys send, the stories you tell us, the conversations we have together of everything we do. My favorite part is, I mean, I, there's a lot of it, but the first thing I think is you guys. The second thing I think is the fellow YouTube friends that we've met and that we've hung out with. Um, Chris from Sushi and Runt. I've known him for forever. If you guys don't know the channel Sushi and Runt, you should definitely go check them out. Awesome guy, awesome family. They've got cats and now they have a dog, Sam. And just great people. I've been friends with him on YouTube. I met him through YouTube. He lives here in Michigan. He's my one of my oldest YouTube friends. Another one of my oldest YouTube friends no longer does YouTube. But he had a Malamute named Shia. And that was Andy from the Lion's Den. Any of you old school audience members will remember Andy. Um, RFS Dan from out in California. Uh, wouldn't have met him if it wasn't for YouTube. Mike and Brittany. Charles and Thor. Kasha from Creative Pet Keeping. So Thor Unleashed, Creative Pet Keeping, um, Press Record, Paw Record, Sushi and Runt, RFS Dan, and there's so many. We went to VidCon and I finally got to meet Sean Duras. I don't know how many of you watch his channel and see him and what he does, but I had the opportunity to meet him at VidCon, which is really cool because we follow each other on Twitter. He's watched some of our videos. We watch Best Day Ever all the time. So that was really cool. Um, who else? Philip DeFranco? Because, I mean, come on. You gotta watch Philip DeFranco. We met him last year at VidCon, which was really cool. Michael Buckley. He's a friend of mine from YouTube. There's so many people that, I mean, I could literally just say all these different people that we know from YouTube. So I have to say, like, 
I guess to answer the question correctly would be the people. So in by by the people I mean everybody, like you guys, our friends that we've made that are fellow YouTubers. That's probably been my favorite part. And then of all of that, the neck my next favorite part is the fact that you guys are so awesome and support who we are and what we do that we can now do this full time. We get to spend even more time with our dogs, which is great because dogs have very short lives and we get to spend a lot of extra time with them because of what we do. I hope that was a good answer. I feel like I was talking for a while. <laughs> uh, boneless wings. Boneless wings for dogs. That's a cute idea. Make them not spicy. Dip them in peanut butter. <laughs> Does Oakley have leg joint problems or is it just because of old age? She does have um, leg and joint problems or joint problems. She has arthritis and she has arthritis like all down her back, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we have done wheat free treats. We have a whole playlist of treats. We've done gluten free treats. We've done frozen treats. We have a lot of wheat free treats. Uh, we've done all kinds of different treats. Is it rare for Huskies to have brown eyes? Nope. This is something else that, as funny as it is, I get asked by you guys, not necessarily you guys, but people that are new to the channel in the comments quite often. It is not rare for Huskies to have brown eyes. Huskies can have brown eyes, amber eyes, uh, blue eyes. They can have party eyes, which is like an eye with blue and a little bit of brown in it. They can have dark brown eyes. They can have light brown eyes. They can pretty much have any color eye. None of them are rare. The most common you usually see is the blue because... A lot of times, like, backyard breeders think everybody wants blue-eyed huskies, so they overbreed the huskies with blue eyes, and then you end up with lots of blue-eyed huskies. So that's usually why you see them more. But is brown a rare eye color? No. Pretty much Memphis's entire family has, like, brown and amber eyes. Very few of the huskies from her family have blue eyes. But some of them do. Uh, dog lollipops. That's a cool idea. Uh, peanut butter pancakes. That's a cool idea, too. Wolfcrest 99. This is amazing! <laughs> These socks are amazing! Uh, Super Carlin Brothers. Do you watch them? That's funny. Uh, flavored ice. Chinese food for dogs. <laughs> uh, look at, see? They played, they, they had some fun, and now they're like, okay, we're done. Da, da, da. Care of brownies for dogs, do young. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Poor Oakley, tell her that I love her. Hey, Oakley, Elise loves you. Is that what Sahut said? I think that's who it said. <laughs> uh. Have any of your dogs been stung by a bee? Yes, we actually have a video on this channel, I think, or the vlog channel where the dogs got stung. Shelby got stung once and Memphis got stung once. Do you dress up your dogs for Halloween? Again. Go search our main channel page for Halloween costumes and you'll find all of the fun videos we've done every year of the dogs dressed up for Halloween. Uh. Do your dogs get Christmas dinner? Yeah, our dogs get pretty spoiled. Dog pasta. Dog pasta. Gummy worms for dogs. You guys come up with the greatest ideas for treats. More frappe dog treats. We did the unicorn frappuccino thing. I was going to do... There was another one that I was going to do. We did the Pina Colada Kong, I think it was. Um, but yeah, we might do more of those as well. What do you do if the dogs get hot? Turn on the air conditioning, which I'll do in eight minutes when the live stream ends. <laughs> uh, do, do you have any tips for cooling off your dogs in the summer? I have multiple videos on our channel for that of uh, tips for how to keep your dogs cool in the summer. If you just go to youtube.com slash gone to the snow dogs and type in keep dogs cool in the summer in the search box on our actual channel page, you'll come up with all those videos. We have quite a few of them that we've done over the past years. We've done cinnamon rolls for dogs. Again, same thing, youtube.com slash gone to the snow dogs or just type in gone to the snow dogs cinnamon rolls in the YouTube search. You'll find them. We did those for Christmas one year. Uh... Oh my goodness, they're all going so fast. What? We're almost done? Have you ever heard of entropian huskies? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever heard of an entropian in huskies? I have 16. We, oh, yes, that 
I believe that's a genetic defect. That sadly comes from improper breeding of dogs. Where do you find where where do you find the board where the dogs sit on when they get there? Oh, that's a table. Um in our grooming video, we actually actually if you go down to in the video description to our Amazon store link, the table is in our Amazon store. That's a grooming table. We got it from Amazon. I buy a lot of things from Amazon. Unicorn frappes for the dogs. Yes, we've done unicorn frappes for the dogs. I know, now I want cinnamon rolls too. That sounds amazing. Tacos for dogs. Shelby. I gotta show you guys Shelby. She's just over here having a fit. Can I help you? <laughs> we'll turn it back on in a minute. I swear. In six minutes. We do treat videos every other Monday. And if you're asking for more, have you watched all 76 of them that we've already done? Can you believe we've done that many? We used to only do treat videos once in a while. And then they just started to get more and more popular. And that was what a lot of you were asking for. So I started doing them once a month. And then I upped it to every other Monday. We've talked about doing it every Monday, but I just, that's just crazy. Every other Monday is good for the treat videos. At least I think so. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, whoops. Whoa. Don't scroll that way. Yeah, I know. Sushi for dogs. A lot of you guys have said that. We, we will do sushi for dogs. Hot, hot dogs for dogs? <laughs> Ice cream sandwiches for dogs would be interesting. That would be cute. We could We could do that. We actually could make ice cream sandwiches for dogs. Because I could use the recipe that I used to make the dog Oreos to make the ice cream sandwich tops and bottoms. That's a cute idea. That, that might have to happen. Somebody said I just subscribed. Welcome to the channel. Pineapple treats. Pineapple treats. Bacon treats. So many treats. What? What? What veggies or fruits do the dogs like? Oh gosh. Shelby doesn't like any fruits or veggies without dip. What? They don't like, apparently, strawberries without dip, except for Memphis. Memphis likes everything, though. We've done Pokeball treats before. What? I don't understand. Memphis is like, hey, Oakley, do you want to play with me? I would play with you if you would play with me. Would you play with me? Look at her. her tail. She's like, hey, can you play with me? Are you needy? Are you needy? Can you tell me all about it? You want to sing? Sing. Sing. Sing out. Sing it out loud. Sing. 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 Oh, now Memphis is thinking about singing. Uh. Shirley says, you have unleashed the beast now. I will try my hardest to find Dutch dog treats and send the girls. Do it! Totally! Yeah! They've had kangaroo treats that somebody sent from Australia. That's It's actually a really neat idea to actually do that dogs try from, like, to, like try different treats from different places. That would be kind of neat. Um, they've had kangaroo. They've had alligator treats. So, why not? We'll make it a thing. Should that be a thing? Let's make it a thing. It's like Explosion Wednesday. Is that a thing? Wheezy Waiter, anybody? I got to meet him at VidCon, too. And I've watched him for years. Stotties04. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, 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 uh. Moon pies for dogs. That would be funny. We do know how to make marshmallows for dogs. So we could make that happen. We could. Mini apples for dogs. We've done... Apple treats for dogs, just specifically for Oakley. Why are they whimpering? That's Shelby. She's just being vocal. She likes to do that. Um, all right, you guys. That is going to be it for today's live stream. We have live streamed for almost an hour. We are going to end this now. Um, if you haven't done so yet, down in the video description below, there is a whole bunch of links to a bunch of different things you can go check out. Um, 
We have our new Amazon affiliate store where you can see a bunch of the stuff that we purchase and we use with our dogs. Uh, we have the harnesses and equipment link. So like where we get our harnesses that we use for our dogs and like the camping picket line and things like that. There is a link for that plus a coupon code for 10% off. The music we use in the videos down in the video description below, Epidemic Sound, there's a link for that. Click on that. I think you get 30 days free to use Epidemic Sound. And then there's all of our other social media sites down in the video description below as well. If you're not following us, there's a whole bunch of places you can follow us so you can get more real-time updates instead of just the videos and things like that. And then, of course, our other two channels, youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs and youtube.com slash arcadesnowdogs. And that is it for the live stream. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out, even though it took us a little bit to get started after we said we were going to. Technical difficulties, you know, they're the best. <laughs> you want to go outside? I'm going to let these girls outside. All right, you guys, as always, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Do you want to sing one more time? Let's sing one more time. Let's sing goodbye to everybody. Wrong note. Sing. Sing. <laughs> all right you guys again if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing stay positive dream big we will see you again soon thank you for all the super chats thank you for watching check out the links down below goodbye guys